Hey YouTube, my name is Tony Hernandez. Oh, hold on. Hey YouTube, my name is Tony Hernandez and today I want to talk about positivity and how positivity is very important for all of us but mostly us that we are in the creative community. I want to specify uh, how positivity can help us out you know to keep being creative and to provide some value you know for the viewers the, or, or clients that are watching the videos. So I'm gonna provide some tips, some techniques that I think they're very helpful and let's roll the intro and let's get this thing started. All right, so I'm pretty sure everybody is aware of the situation that's going on in the world right now. Our lives are changing so fast and so drastically. And besides people getting the coronavirus, which is unfortunate, people are also losing their jobs. And we are being asked to stay inside our houses and not being able to go outside and spend time with our families on a regular basis. You know, going outside, going to the parks, going to the movies, all those things we are not being able to do anymore. To be honest, guys, watching the news all day might not be as helpful as we wanted to. You know, and don't get me wrong, it's very important to search for information, you know, and to keep yourself informed. All I'm saying, watching news all day might generate stress. And if you're stressed, you can have a creativity block. And if you're like me and you work in the creative field, having a creativity block can be very, very frustrating. And how to get out of the creativity block it's a conversation for another day right now i'm just going to concentrate and how to stay positive can be very helpful for your creativity juices and for your personal life as well all right guys so i'm going to share with you the three techniques you can use to stay positive like i said they're very easy to do and pretty much you can do them anywhere so number one all right so the first one is music listen to music that sounds the way you want to feel Music activates the region of the brain that releases the feeling good chemical, dopamine. So if you want to feel happy and motivated, listen to happy and motivational music. A smile. It might sound simplistic, but studies have shown that when you smile, your facial muscles send feedback to your brain that might impact the way your emotions develop. So now you know what to do. Let's put a smile on that face. All right, so the third one is follow your passion. And this one I'm pretty sure a lot of us can relate to, you know? So do something that you're excited about. If you like writing, write something. If you like making music, create some music. You know, if you like to take photos, go outside and take some photos, make some videos. Whatever your passion is, go do it. And trust me, you're gonna feel way better after you do it. Also following your passion, it gives you a sense of meaning, you know? I think that's what we're all looking for, right? All right, guys, so I am back in the studio and I know I said I will share three techniques, but I actually want to share a fourth one. Consider this one a bonus one. And I'm pretty sure you heard of this one before, and that is meditation. I think this one is very important and very helpful for everybody, you know? And to be honest, I am not an expert in meditation, but I have tried it a few times and it has helped me a lot, you know? I feel in a better mood, I don't stress out as easily, and overall, I just, I just feel good you know my ideas flow better so I think it's worth trying so if you're interested in meditation and want to go more in depth I'm gonna leave a link down below of a fellow youtuber his name is Karthik Ramanan and I hope that's how you pronounce the name if not Dr. Ramanan my apologies so he specializes on emotional health so I totally recommend you to go and check him out. So and resume guys, the important thing here is to do our best to see the positive in every single situation. You know, learn from it and make the best of it. Yes, we are in lockdown. And yes, things might seem a little scary and out of our control. So let's just concentrate on the things that we can actually control. You know, let's work on them, keep writing, Keep making music, keep taking photos, making videos, keep doing your passion, whatever you like to do. Keep yourself productive and occupied, you know, so you can distract yourself a little bit from what's going on in the world. You know, it's very important to keep yourself positive so we can share some of that positivity. And trust me, I think we all need some of that positivity right now. All right, YouTube, we have reached the end of this video. Not without telling you that I appreciate you watching this video. And I want to wish you to stay well and healthy. You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. And see you guys next time.